So CEI, just anyone can come in, apply to work there, get hired, and then what's the training process? Um, the only requirement for hire that I'm aware of is that you have to have a high school diploma. Um, the training process, when I was hired, there, someone told, I went into the office and someone said, I would like for you to do this, and I went and did it. Um, I was helping do assessments with the person who was in charge of assessments. And um, I was sent on two assessments with her, and then I was sent out to do them on my own. Not only sent out to do the assessments, but I was doing a lot of the assessments that were in outlying areas. Um, we're talking a 45 minute drive from Kansas City. And we had no assessment sites that were local. So not only was I trying to meet with school officials, meet with clients, I was also trying to develop assessment sites in areas where we had none. And I'd never done anything like that, but I was expected to do it with no training. So what was your caseload like? How many clients were you assigned? I did not have the caseload that a lot of people did because of the accommodations that were made for my disability. Um, I was, at the time that everything blew apart, I had four clients that I was doing assessments on. Um, each assessment is a four hour block of time. So I had four clients I was doing assessments on. I was doing uh, job coaching intermittently for two other clients where a job coach goes with them to a job, assesses what uh, accommodations they might need, helps them learn the process, what the employer wants them to do, and um, until they can learn the job kind of helps them to meet whatever the production quota might be. Um, so I had two clients that I was doing that for intermittently. I know that there were um, job developers in our office that had 40, 50, 60 clients. And how many were they expected to see each week? Or They were expected to see every client every two weeks. Wow. In a regular 40-hour work week? Uh, we're not allowed to work 40 hours. Oh. You're not allowed to work on Fridays. And um, when this, this whole managerial change came in, you were expected, we, we used to be able to leave from home and you know figure out who we needed to see, what we needed to do, and go and do it. Um, you know, check in, hey, this is what I've done, send an email, this, you know, whatever, just to, to make sure someone knew what was going on. Um, when this managerial shift happened, we were expected to be at the office at 8 o'clock every morning. On Monday mornings, there was a uh, staff meeting that sometime lasted till noon. But we were expected to be there every morning at 8 o'clock to check in and then go see our clients and come back every afternoon at 3 and then be out of there by 4.30. That expectation, just thinking about the hours in a day, and then whatever driving, you have, you know, you might have half an hour, forty-five minute drive from the office to your client, or from one client to the next. There's no way that there's enough hours in a day to do that. Um, then there are, you know, re reports that need to be made. Um, every time you have contact with a client, you need to write a report so it's in that client's file. Um, we did all, all of our own timekeeping, all of our own mileage keeping. We had to keep that all done and added up and turned in. And there's just not enough time in the day. So it was essentially either you worked on your own time to get your paperwork done or your paperwork wasn't done, which is not acceptable. It doesn't make any sense.